My name is Nick Milkovich. Uh, I'm a, a resident of Vancouver. I've lived here all my life pretty well. Uh, and uh, my architectural career started when I finished school with Arthur Erickson 50 years ago. And I've continued uh, to uh, work in, in, the, in the field, in, particularly in buildings like this, you know, the buildings that are uh, careful, well thought, uh, well detailed. I think my first encounter with the building was as a young architect starting in, in the world of architecture with Arthur Erickson. Uh, and uh, my first exposure to this particular building was uh, building study models for the spaces uh, all the way from the entry through the Great Hall then into the, uh, the, the other galleries in the building. So, and it was a study of, that involved really locating the exhibits first before any structure evolved out of it. It was amazing. I, I, you know, I was just told here, uh, build these pieces. All the pieces were um, located on the plan, on a plan that I was to build, and that's then out of that we grew the structure. So there was no preconception what the structure is going to be. It grew out of what was here, and what we're trying to inter or Arthur was trying to interpret it. In '76, times were a lot simpler in architecture, especially you know, uh, the earthquake codes and all those things were a lot more timid than they are now. And, and that's because we know a lot more, you know. But uh, so it was at that time, the main issues, you know, we were dealing with the site. There were three gun emplacements that were too expensive to move, uh, to demolish. So the building was created through using those pieces as any site has its topography and this had a partly a, a man-built topography, so it's, uh, uh, that had to be worked with. And the story was told with those pieces in, in the game. When, when you work on someone else's work, especially something of, of this architectural significance, and, and as it relates to the exhibitry, you, your first impulse, or should be, is to take care, don't disturb what's there. And uh, so you're not uh, bringing along new interventions that start changing the dynamic of what was created originally. Obviously these things were done for a reason, well, of a different time, a little simpler time in our field. But uh, now, uh, you know, it's our, how do we keep that, that essence of, of, you know, the whole building was a backdrop to the pieces. It's all gray, it's soft, so the pieces are the most critical thing in the building. And um, so how do you maintain that without interference? So that's our approach, and that's, it has to be. This, there's no other approach to it. Otherwise, it's a different building. I think today is a great example of it, in a way, because it's a, it's a nice day, and the architecture becomes, other than the ceiling, which is quite strong, but it speaks of the language of the old structures to the uh, post and beam structure. But the vertical columns work with the, with the pole, the exhibits, and, and they blend, they, they're backdrop, they're there. They're not in the forefront, they're in the background, you know, which is the, more important, the most important thing in a museum. You don't want to be conscious of everything around. Ex the exhibits are key. So this architecture, I think, works really well with that. And it's also, the building is, is I always compared it to a large tea house, and where the garden and the outdoor is as important as the space inside. So, and that's where the totems were found. They were found in the outdoors, so this works in that regard. Well, when you, as a building ages, you want it to stay true to its character. And, uh, and I think the, not the uh, simplicity of the materials of this building helps because they're materials of the earth. So they age like anything ages. And, uh, and I think that's what should happen. You know, buildings age, they get, you know, a bit tired and all that, but that's okay, you know. They, but they still have the freshness is the idea uh, and how it works with what it's intended for. That's the main thing. That doesn't age. That gives a comfort and a presence.